We all good, yeah. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back today with Craigie, so you know we've got a food video coming yeah, your way. So this month, even though this will be going up in April, but March's snack surprise, we are gonna be trying foods from, can I get a drum roll please? Australia! And to be honest, good I'm day, super <laughs> freaking excited about this. Yeah, good day, mate. Good day, mate. Good day, mate. mate. I'm from Australia. I'm just like that, I'm from Australia. <laughs> just like the video. <laughs> We love the Cadbury's from Australia, don't we? Yeah. The um pineapple the pineapple dairy milk. Oh my god. What's the so one? Good. Like? And I love Perky Nana. Oh. So we are so excited to get started with this. So let's just get into things. Let's just get started trying the food. Let's go. Don't know why Nick was swimming. <laughs> okay guys, first up, I'm already seeing some similarities to our food. Yeah. Uh, will it taste similar? I don't know. Anyway, first up we've got a wagon wheel original and we get right we get what we get wagon wheels here in the UK but this is quite big our wagon wheels were a lot smaller and they and used to be bigger by different people they used yeah. to be bigger no i think we were just smaller oh With smaller hands yeah definitely they used to be bigger just looks like a wagon wheel smells like a wagon wheel yep. it's just half this bad boy oh Ooh. actually breaks apart really well the jam jam Literally just like a wagon when I get here. Not sweet. It's okay. It's okay, right? Where do you think they came from first? The UK. I saw them. I saw or somewhere them. else. I think UK. Wagon wheel. Like wagon wheel. Sounds so British. No, wagons I associate more with America. Well true, true. A wonderful chocolate coated combination of marshmallow jam and biscuit. Oh, it doesn't really tell you That's much it. about it. Well, this says legendary since 1952. But who knows? So how are you rating your Australian... Australian? Australian? I'm not doing that. So. <laughs> Wagon wheel. Five. Yeah, I'm going to go five. Up next, we've got Mars Pods. And these look freaking delicious. It says they are delicious, rich Mars caramel cradled in a crispy baked wafer topped off with creamy milk chocolate. That's a bit of me. It's also going to look like a kind of boy now. Come on, darling, it's going to be like Mars oh. in a wafer. What the hell, the hell, the hell. Oh. What the hell? They just look like this. We have nothing like this here. These are weird. Oh. It's like cereal with Mars. It has a consistency of a fortune cookie. Oh, I love those. It's not really like you got cereal and put it with a Mars bar. Yeah, it is. It does taste like a Mars bar, obviously it does. But oh, they're delicious. The book says it's a crunchy wafer in the shape of a shell, filled with Mars caramel and topped off with smooth and creamy milk chocolate. It tastes like a Mars bar. But you know what else tastes like a Mars bar? Mars bar. Just a regular Mars bar. Yeah, but how much? Take I'd rather have. It's a cool take on it. Got a cool little alternative snack. Well, <laughs> I'm gonna rate these a nine. What? They're freaking great. Would you rate a Mars bar a nine? Oh, I love a Mars bar. I, mean, I haven't had one in a while. I eat them that regularly, but I do. Don't talk shit. Oh my god, honey. She's lying. She's I'd rate a Snickers a ten and a Mars bar a nine. What would you rate a Mars bar? Look at the six. Oh. Uh, Just basic bits of chocolate, like. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you even have to pick up on my phone, but I'm really craving this right now. Anyway, just get, let's just get it I'm going to rate these a nine. I'll rate that a six. We've got a harsh critic on our hands tonight. So I'm normally very, very, very reasonable. Good. As anyone who knows me would testify to. Could a very reasonable, no, rational fella. Very unreasonable fella. Right, guys, up next, we have Mang and Craig. It's Mang and Craig's favourite brand. Cadbury, mm -hmm. and this is something we've never seen before. It's called a cherry ripe. Cherry ripe, yes, with it. Cherry ripe. If it bar. didn't say Cadbury, I thought it'd be. If it didn't say Cadbury, I'd have thought it was like a big like fruit chew thing. So I'm excited for this. I gotta say, mm -hmm. this is gonna be is delightful. It... Mm. Do I break a bit off? No, I'll just bite it. I'll just bite it off. Oh. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh. Is it like, it looks like, I thought it would be really good, I don't know if I, I don't even, no idea if you can see that. Oh, never mind. 
I thought it'd be really gooey. It looks like there's cereal bits on it, doesn't it? Oh, it's, a lot. it's like coconut. Lovely. So lovely. <laughs> well. It's not really artificial taste, unlike cherry can be. If someone knows or works for Cadbury that watches this video, why do Cadbury make better things for Australia? I don't need a few things. Well, that pineapple chocolate. And that perky nana. They've like cool flavours, like cherry, banana, pineapple. Oh my god. We've got like... Oreo, Caramel. Honico. Oreos. <laughs> so it says, it's Australia's oldest chocolate bar. It consists of cherries and coconut coated in dark chocolate. That's dark chocolate, isn't it? Oh, that's great, Well, You want to try that? Oh, that was lovely. Oh, we, we know. No. <laughs> we know you think it's lovely. Eight, I have seven. I'm not being harsh, I'm just saying. I'll go to Australia on my own. Oh, shut up. We've only done three things. Okay, guys, up next we have a thing called Shapes. And they look like little crackers, and it says they are barbecue flavoured. Mad. Oh, interesting. Oh. Thick one. They don't smell like anything. Right. I mean, something else. Smell like it. How can you not smell it? Oh, wow. Oh. Mm. Oh. Oh. Oh, they're not wet. What are they meant to be? Barbecue? They don't taste like barbecue, but they're nice. They taste like sour cream. Oh, with a tiny, get... tiny bit of barbecue. I get tomato more than. What would you write them? I'm going to say nine. Nine? Yeah. The flavour is really good. Nice crunch. No, I'd rate them seven. Again. I think that was on me today. Why don't, why don't you rate it higher? They're nice, but like... They are really good, How but they also don't taste like what they're meant to. But the flavour's nice. Yeah. But that's just your interpretation. Yeah, but okay. well, that's the whole point. Oh, <laughs> It's going to be a long day, boys. <laughs> Next up, guys, we have the Chokito. 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 I'm from Australia, got a Chokito. <laughs> Chokito, mate. <laughs> Please stop. Please stop. <laughs> Chokito. 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 Oh, see? Oh, that's so bad. It's not Chokito. good. No, because it's, it's one a chewy things, caramel fudge, crunchy balls, loads of chocolate. Ooh. And it's by Nestle. Oh. It looks like a toffee crisp. Yeah. Oh, I hope it's not like a toffee crisp. Toffee crisps are always disappointing. Like no, a toffee crisp. I hope it doesn't like that inside. No, I thought it's full. It's like a. My thoughts. Oh. Mmm. It's nice, but you can tell it's nicely chocolate. There's a fair tune in those. Quirky. <laughs> the book says the Chalky Dough is a chocolate covered chocolate bar containing caramel fudge with crunchy rice crisps. Manufactured by Nestle. It's basically a slightly better toffee crisp. Yeah. How would you rate that? Five. I'm going to say six. So Five. next we have a Cadbury Dream Bar. Which we had in the UK before. And they've come back. We have them now. Do we have them now? Yes, darling. I've never seen them. You clearly haven't been to Tesco recently. Clearly I haven't. But we had them years ago. Yep. I really liked them. No. I love white chocolate. No, the thing is, is the Cadbury's slightly different over there. Is what it? Say? Well, I, I just think they have better flock. They just have better combinations of things. Okay. I'd like to know. I don't think Cadbury Someone chocolate. from Cadbury, let me know. Why do you even know this Ooh. stuff? I say this in every video, but you know I'm not a big white chocolate fan. That's good. Does it remember the class? There is no real difference to the one we get here than that, nope. is there? Exactly. The a creamy, delicious, smooth, melt in your mouth, real white chocolate which contains cocoa butter. A real Ooh, throwback. What would you rate the dream bar? What would I rate the dream bar? I'd rate the dream bar a uh, seven. Just because it's not my. It, I used to like white chocolate, but there's nothing wrong with it. I would give it a nine. Not what without your ten. Not even for a white chocolate bar. No, 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 like, I love white chocolate, I wouldn't give it just a plain bar 10. But I really, really like it. Up next we have Zappo, and they are Chewy Grape Sweets. Grape is a flavour we don't get here. No, sweet. it's not. You see it in America a lot. Yeah. It's got that weird, um, thing where you feel it's chewing gum. Mmm. It tastes like... Grapes. Someone's took perfume from Panland and poured it on some chewing gum. That's a great flavour. Well, then... <laughs> well, it is sharp. Yeah, it's not very nice. 
Like I wouldn't say it's not very nice. Oh, couldn't you? No. Aww. No. No. So the book says, known for its explosive flavour, Zappo fruit juice will leave you with a sour punch of grape that means it makes your mouth water. Well, I agree with that. How do you rate your Major Zappo juice? More. Um, three. I'm going to rate them a seven. Seven from the Zappo juice. Okay, next we have a Tim Tam. For some reason I thought these were American. I don't know why. Tim, you get a Tim Tam. Come on, I'm from Australia. Please stop, got me please stop. Oh, let me just try. Stop. I'm from Australia. I got myself a Tim Tam. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Sydney. Please stop. I'm from Sydney, mate. This looks like a penguin. Oh yeah. Penguin, a chocolate, not a penguin, not a, not the animal, a biscuit. <laughs> if you're not from the UK, it's it's a biscuit. Oh, Tim Tam, two melted biscuits separated by a light chocolate cream filling and coated in a thin layer of textured chocolate. So it's effectively it's like a penguin if you are from the UK. It says there is no substitute, but there is a substitute, and that substitute is a penguin. <laughs> How would you read it? Uh, sorry, five. Yeah, I'd say five too. Up next, we've got Whiz Fizz Sherbet. And it says, win and when you're fizzing. No, it says, win and when fizzing. Win and when fizzing. Okay. Is there like a stick to put in it? Or? Oh, there is. Boys. No, just a that's spoon. Just a spoon. Oh. Well, let's not use the spoon. Will I get a spoon? No, darling. Let's just empty it into our mouth. Well, I'll leave that bit. That's not. It's more like a little shovel. A shovel for teeny tiny. Whoa! I put too much. Oh, it's just kind of stuck to that. It's probably aimed at kids. Hmm. Yeah, it's just like orange sherbet. I guess this is probably something that's popular with kids in Australia. Well, you know, we like, explain that. Well, you never know. Oh my god. Um, what does the book say? Um, a sachet of specifically formulated sherbet powder to ensure an explosion of fizzy goodness. I don't know if this is like a little character that you get in Australia, but he says, Who stole my legs? Oh, but he shouldn't have legs. No, he's saying that. Ah, uh, funny. I don't think he would be a big cultural icon in Australia. You don't right, know. right up there with kangaroos and swearing Could a lot. Be. Honey, they don't swear a lot. They do. They say, let's come the to the C party. Word. The C word is like a throwaway word you say all the time. No, well, that's a stereotype. No, honey, it's not. I think you've used that up in your own No, mind. I haven't. They say, like, come to the barbie, mate. No, they don't say that. They do. And they're like, get, get on my truck, let's go and see it. And they all have Steve Irwin tattoos. Oh my gosh, I'm really big crack. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, enough of our terrible Australian Australian accents. How do you rate your whispers? Three. Yeah, just not our Sorry. cup of tea. I rate it. So up next we have Twisties Chicken, and it says life's pretty straight without Twisties. No. <laughs> they look like knickknacks. They are. They look like knickknacks. Yeah. These are chicken flavour. Oh. Yeah, that's what knickknacks are like. Chicken stock. Oh, that tastes like chicken stock. <laughs> it doesn't taste like chicken, but it does taste like chicken with herbs. No, I think what you mean is like, our chicken crispy tastes different to this. this Ours tastes, tastes like roast chicken. Mm -hmm. This tastes like chicken gravy. Or like chicken pot noodle. Yeah. Chicken pot noodle. Oh, it does that too. Yeah. But chicken or cheese, flavoured corn and rice snack that has appealed to Aussies for over 60 years. <gasps> this is like the classic Aussie crisp. I'm going to give the twisties a uh, 6 out of 10. What did you say? I predicted your score, but I would also give it 6. So next we have Kirk's Creaming Soda. <laughs> I find that funny, sorry. I'm such a child. Anyway, so it's... <laughs> Hold on, they're packaged in so cool. to say this This ain't... ain't just any creaming soda. This is Kirk's, a, as classic as the sound of an ice cream truck on a hot summer's day. Oh, that's so cool. The can's cool. So it's going to be like cream. Is this cream soda then? I love cream soda. Oh, they're kind of like cherry -y. I thought it would be more like a proper cream soda taste. There is a cream soda taste there, but I think it's because it's with, is it like cherry or something? Yeah, there's fruit in it. Let me see. The book says, it's a creamy soda is an Aussie favourite, providing fun mm. refreshment. I want more detail, I want to know why, like, what's the flavour, who makes it, you know? I get the Kirk's mix, okay. Do you know we dance there? 
Someone give me the third book. Oh, the book's What's not telling me. Uh, yeah. So what would you rate? Uh, what like, books? guys, think if we're going to get to know me. Fizzy drinks aren't really my thing. Hit me, up, hit me up, barkeep. I knew you'd like that. Thank you, Squire. I'm just going to rate it a six. But that's just personal taste for me. Pardon me, it's making me very me, windy. Me, I mean, it's not super cold, that's our fault. Um, if that was really, really just out of the fridge, I'd imagine you drinking I, it. I like that. I would give that an eight. Okay, guys, up next we have another chocolate bar. And this is called a summer roll. So guys, it's like coconut on the outside and I'm making a right It looks like a this. Milky Way on the inside. Oh, like nugget? No, depending on where you're from, Milky Ways are different, but a British Milky Way. Ooh. It would be like a Three Musketeers in America, I think. It's the white one, isn't it? I don't know. Mmm. There's a peanut, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I'm not sure why I make that. It's not a work to eat that. It is my teeth are sore. The summer roll is lightly roasted peanuts and a chewy nougat rolled in milk, chocolate and coconut. Another childhood favourite. Oh, I really rate that actually. I would give that a six. I'm going to give it an eight. Next we have Cheezels. Pretty much like what's it? <gasps> maybe not as dusted. Oh, look. We're like thick hula hoops. Oh, they're the most amazing texture. They're not dusty like what's it? Like leave your hands all warm. Quite nice. But they taste exactly like what's it? What's it? What's it? <laughs> In Australia they say, can you what's it there? <laughs> <laughs> you stop. No, oh my god. The book says that cheesels are a ring shaped snack baked to crispy, crunchy perfection and smothered with deliciously cheese flavour. <laughs> Boy, dry them. I think I'm going to rate those a nine. Might as well say eight. Up next we have an interesting sound and sweet called Redskins and they just kind of feel like a big long cheese sweet. Oh they're really hard so be careful. <laughs> Raspberry? What is it? Oh. Um, Redskins. This Aussie favourite is a tasty and chewy raspberry flavoured confection and intense flavour explosion. I thought it was lovely. It's very chewy but you'd have to sit and enjoy that. <laughs> That's with sort of teeth though. Right, what would you rate your red skins? I'd eat my red skins a six. Eight. <laughs> I'd eat my red skins. A six because it's too hard to eat. Enjoy I that. I would rate them a three. Because they're quite bland. Negative and Annoying. Craig, really negative annoying date. Negative Craig. Negative Craig. Come like to play. Negative Craig. Negative Craig. Negative Craig. Come like to play. I hate everything. Okay, next we have a Kit Kat Chunky Gold Crisp. We have Kit Kat Chunkies in the UK and they look exactly the same. But this is a Gold Crisp one. Do we have a Gold Crisp? No. I wouldn't know because I don't pick up Kit Kat Chunkies all that often. We have peanut butter and there's like a white chocolate and, cream. Little, and a white chocolate one and then a regular one. No, I think there's more than that. Oh. Oh, it's golden! Lovely. Oh, it's like that caramel type smell. Like butterscotchy type oh, stuff. Oh, I love that. Oh, is that white chocolate? Is that white chocolate and caramel mixed together? No, it's delicious. Mmm, that's heaven. It's the kind of chocolate that's a bit sore in your teeth because it's so sweet, but it's lovely. A single crispy wafer finger covered in delicious creamy golden white chocolate. That's not just white chocolate, it's something else in that. Mm. I'll tell you. There's caramel in that or something. The other one is just white chocolate. It just says golden white chocolate. There's something else in that. The Cambridge name is white chocolate. I know, darling. Well, it's I nice liked though, it, yeah. despite its odd taste. Not odd, it just tastes like caramel, darling. It makes sense it's just white chocolate, apparently. Mm. But it's lovely. It's made of gold white chocolate. Duh. I always give it. An eight. I'd say an eight too for the Kit Kat Chunky there, guys. Next up, we have French fries. Full disclosure, Nicola just said these are boring as hell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're like, what do you call those? We have them. What the hell? Do you know those little ones? Oh, am I allowed to try them or not? No. Do you know those ones? Look at it. Kathy make them. Do they make ones? You get beef flavour. 
We have ones with like crisps. I don't remember you don't have ones, I guess. We have ones that are exactly like this. I don't know if they still make them. They're so thin. I thought they'd be like proper crisps. Not really more. They still taste like crisps. Mm. But they are nice. Like a cut above like regular really salted crisps. The book says Australians original crunchy potato straw snack, crispy, salty, and seriously addicting, perfect for a movie. I'm bad. Yeah, they're just like really salted crisps, it's slightly better. They're exactly like the KP fries thing. I don't remember these things. Oh Hannah, I have to show them. I don't know if you still get them, but you definitely used to. Um, I'm gonna rate those uh a six. Yeah, I'll give it a six as well. Yeah, six across the board, my Next up we have these little sweets and there's no um there's writing on it but there's no word of there's no sign of what it's called. So I had a look at the book and it says it's called Fantails. And we've only got one. And we've got one. Oh goodness. Oh, I thought it'd be like a sweet. Um Oh You can just have it. <laughs> it's really hard again. Just breathe on me. No. Just breathe on me. I'll just tell you what it's like. Let's not now. Okay, it smells like caramel. It's like caramel chocolate sweet. Okay. So it said in the book. Where is it again? Chew caramel pieces of the rich chocolate cream. Test your friends with a celebrity trivia on the wrappers. Okay. Who am I? Okay. Born in Mississippi in 1954. I'll just keep reading it and you can tell me who you think of this. She graduated from Tennessee State University in speech and performing arts. Dolly Parton! She, wow, not quite. She is a media personality known for her self-titled multi-award winning talk show, which is the highest Oprah rate. Winfrey. Oprah Winfrey, you got it. What would you rate that? Um. Six. Okay, I can't rate it as I'm getting it. There is a picture of two though, so I think the just didn't give us one. Sorry, Helly. It's okay. You wouldn't have enjoyed it, you'd have hurt your teeth. And next we have, I'm going to do these together. So we've got Caramello Koala, which is basically a caramel freddo. Oh my god, say that in an Australian accent. A Caramello Koala. A Caramello Koala. A Caramello Koala. A Caramello Koala. Oh my god, wow, that's so hard. I'm from Australia. A caramello camaro. No. 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 A caramello camaro. No. <laughs> so this is basically a caramel freddo to if you're from the UK. choose the Brits. And then oh, this is actually freddo. And then this is a strawberry freddo, which we don't have. We only have regular freddo or caramel freddo. Why do we not have a strawberry one? I don't like, that's what I mean. Why did they make the goods for Australia? Yeah. Let's start with the freddo that we know because we well, it's a koala, but yeah. Oh, they have a koala friend. Like, like, that's cool because that's like their national animal. We don't even have like a horse. What would we have? A pigeon? A horse or something. Oh, why a horse? I don't know. Grand Rascal. Mm -hmm. I love a Freddo. Remember they used to be 5B? Just like a Freddo. It tastes the same as ours, doesn't it? It tastes a strawberry one. You take a bigger bite because I bet you're going to love this. Look at the middle of that. Oh wow. Mm. Wait, I feel like I've had this before. Is it a bit too much? I feel sorry. That's beautiful. Mm. Kind of tastes like kalpo, but nice. But I would eat kalpo. That's children's medicine, by the way. Why is this kalpo? I tend not to drink it now that I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> you got a problem. <laughs> Catch you like in the room. I mm, Well, the yeah. banana penicillin, that was the stuff. Mm. Anyway. What do you, right, first of all, how do you rate the koala board? Oh, like seven. It's just like. Oh, honey, right, wait, let's, let one second. Sorry, that was harsh. Because it, cause it tastes You're like something. Because it. it tastes like something we already have, but then, okay, nine. Right. I'll give that a ten. Well, the strawberry friend, I won't give him ten. I'd it's give him a ten too, yeah. No. My ten. Up next we've got Alan's Wee Sweeties and these are the <laughs> Retro Party Mix. Doesn't the guy at the front look like a really crap radio DJ? I do like how Australia, you know, being health conscious, health conscious Australia, that's why I want to go to it. And it says know your portions and it actually shows you that you should only have five sweets for one portion. At the front looks like a really crap radio DJ. <laughs> he does. What's it called? A oh, next story you want, it's Retro Party Mix! Whoa, such a mix! 
Oh, on top. Oh, hello. Look at smell. Oh, it smells like mint. I know. Does the taste smell like mint? Yeah. Mmm, the teeth are mint too. The teeth literally taste like toothpaste. That work, huh? <laughs> Why are the teeth mint though? The whole thing tastes like mouthwash. That's weird. Coca Cola. That's weird. Oh look, there's little pineapple boys. Oh, <gasps> pineapple is like pineapple. I don't know what I really think of those. They're strange. I like them. I wonder if Alan's is like the Harry Bow of Australia. <laughs> okay, the book says. Create smiles for the whole family. Did you open this bag of Allen's? It's the perfect mix with the favourite for everyone. I agree, the actual sweets and the texture of the sweets is lovely. I just feel, I'm not used to the teeth tasting of toothpaste, so it just ruins it for me. How do you rate your Red Bull party mix? Mm, like six. Okay, I'm going to say an eight. Just the if it was only full of teeth, it would be three because it was weird. Next up, we've got the cutest little guy on the front, and these are a pack of Chicos. And it feels like they're chocolate jelly babies. Nah, that's not, that can't be, that can't be right. Oh my god, they are. They're little men. Oh. <laughs> the hell? <gasps> they're chocolate jelly babies. They're little fat, they're ugly little men, aren't they? That's what I look like. They're chocolate jelly babies. It's so unusual but so cool. That's proper weird. The brand is you'd buy like at the supermarket that prepackaged. It tasted like that. Mm -hmm. Like five one bars. Mm -hmm. It's kind of weird. The texture's weird too. That's strange. That's so strange. Oh. What a world we live in. Alan's a crazy man. Alan's a crazy man. So the book says, Chico's are deliciously yummy, chocolate flavoured, iconic jelly babies. Squish them, stretch them, enjoy them. I don't know. What do you rate them? Okay, so I'm going to rate these at uh, six because they're so different, so wacky, and honestly, they'd never think a chocolate jelly baby existed. I would rate them three for the same reason. <laughs> they're just so, they're <laughs> so strange. Oh my mind. They're just not. They're just. <laughs> Why are we so. Chocolate wow. Okay guys, last but not least, we've got a good old packet of Samboys. <laughs> Samboy Heiser. We don't actually know what these are, it's just a funny name. Um, they're called Atomic Tomato Flavour. It's like something's missing or something. The flavour's really good, but there's not enough of it. The irony is it says it's a mega tomato hit, but it's not. The book says, Sam Boy, Australian's favourite crisp from the 1950s with a tomato flavour that hits hard. For the flavour that is there, it's like a 10, but because of the way the flavour's distributed, it's not quite right, so I'll give them an 8. I'm going to say a 7. A disappointing 8. They could have been 10. 7 for me. So, as usual, we are going to do our top 3 and, yeah, we'll be back to let you know what they are. Okay, guys. So, for oh. me, my top 3 are in third place are the cheezels the cheesy rings that kind of if you're from the uk remind me of what's it but the texture and the flavor was just top notch on those God, number God. two for me is going to be the strawberry dairy milk freddo why we don't have these in the uk dairy milk i don't freaking know i know seriously you need a right to bring our, the goods over here right please. to our local mp Question is, would you move to an Austra would you move to Australia for a strawberry bread? To get those, yeah. <laughs> and in top position for me is the Mars Bar Pods. I freaking love these things. They're so good. Um, yeah. So that is my top three, Craigie. Okay. So despite only giving this an eight out of ten, I one, of one of the crisps in this were covered in flavour, and it was amazing. So I'm based on that. So number three is my Samboy. <laughs> hey, Samboy crisps. So that's number three. Number two is the creaming soda. I don't know why that still makes me laugh. <laughs> but yeah, that was really nice. And then my number one is the strawberry fellow, which was pure.
pure banging, mate. That is going to go ahead and conclude today's video. It was quite an exciting box. I think the problem is there's probably so much food that we haven't tried from Australia and this is probably just a really tiny small portion of it um, because we have actually tried things as we've said the ca different Cadbury bars and stuff from different countries and a lot of them were from Australia and we absolutely loved them but what we did try was interesting and fun again I will leave a little link in my description box to snack surprise this was the what month are we in? This was the March box. This was the March box from Snack Surprise. And I will leave a little link in my description box so you can go check them out. Please give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I would really, really appreciate it if you could subscribe to my, my channel just so that you guys get to see all our future stuff. If you're from Australia, please leave a little comment and let me know. If How you... bad her accent was. Yeah, apologies for that. And oh let my. us know if you if this is the snack she's have, what other things do you rate as good snacks. Let us know. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm sending love and positivity to each and every one of you. Catch you all soon. Bye. Bye.